details on gold. Gold SR counter trend strategies were 10 for 11 today. It was the hot of the day. The rest of the strategies were down. The rest of the markets were down overall. But we'll go over the trading system signals in another video for all the strategies later or tomorrow. Today, I want to go over gold. Gold was, like I said, 10 for 11 on SR counter trend. And important details on gold, important details on SR counter trend. There's a lot of thoughts on this strategy that I have that I want to share with you. Some important details to understand about gold and the way it trades. This is the way uh, this strategy looks at the end of the day. SR counter trend 2V2M, 1M aggressive for gold, small profit target. And this is what this looks like. This is a screenshot of what this looked like uh, when the trade happened. We didn't trade this live. We're still waiting for an entry point into the portfolio uh, for the quarter. And it took the trade here and got out within three seconds. And that doesn't look right, but you have to look at the one second chart to see if this actually happened. And so we have the one second chart. So the screenshot of the one second chart, you can see each bar represents one second and Jobs Friday, fast flashing moves on Jobs Friday. One of the questions that comes up is should we trade on Jobs Friday? Maybe, maybe not, or maybe not wait till 7.45, 8.45 Eastern to trade Jobs Friday. But the first move was down, kind of a fast move, which triggered the entry signal and the exit signal was right there. Um, three seconds later, one, two, three, in and out within three seconds, possible that your order was rejected either on the entry or the exit um, in a fast market like that. But what happens if it had been uh, rejected? Based on the price data, you would have had the opportunity, once you refresh this, to see that the signal disappeared. The reason the signal disappeared, and you could make this signal reappear if you did the look inside bar back testing down to one second so click on properties for all and then you can see use look inside bar back testing one of the things I like to do is put my strategies on one minute chart or look inside bar back testing down to one minute not typically one second because it's resource intensive if you have a hundred charts going down to one second going back six months it'll crash your system and most of the time um, the markets aren't so fast that the ranges are bigger than your parameters. But in this case, if you use look inside bar back testing, put it down to one second, it would show up. The profit target would show up again. But if you don't have that and you refresh it, this is what it looks like. So you would have had the opportunity to get back in here and then take the trade. Um, because when you refresh your charts, this is what's going to show up, even if it would have exited in real time. Um, at a better price at, at more quickly this is what the history will look like with this strategy so um, that's one of the key things to think about when you trade is what's going on inside that bar your parameters bigger sometimes in rare cases like this they're not um, and it didn't make a difference so that is the gold SR counter trend setup it's important to know it's inside those bars another observation is Besides the fact, should we trade on Jobs Friday before 7:30? The second observation is gold is, you know, seems to be going into bull, a very strong bull market mode. How high will it go? No one knows. We know that cocoa went up two and a half times its 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 prices from closing prices from December about two and a half times. Cocoa's uh, a less liquid market than gold, but if gold goes up 50% it'll be at about 3,000 so not impossible to get the 3,000 and so this week gold was up about hundred eleven dollars this strategy in particular went four for four with ten dollar profit target so it was up forty dollars on the week day trading gold versus a one hundred eleven dollar move so it didn't capture the whole thing but one thing you have to consider is these are day trade strategies and when in order to capture in order to have a strategy that captures moves like this, you typically have to endure greater volatility in your account. You typically will give back a larger portion, a larger drawdown percentage when this does roll over, when its bull market is over or corrects. So even though you didn't capture the full gain on a strategy like this, keep in mind it's a day trade strategy and we're here to uh, minimize drawdowns as much as possible. And this strategy did a good job this week. Day trading gold going four for four. And SR counter trend in general, I don't like uh, the way it trades really because um, 
you know these profit targets are narrow and doesn't always trade very much it goes through long periods of time where it doesn't trade it's really not my kind of trading system but it works and so in trading you don't have to be psychologically satisfied with the way your system trades if it works you just have to be disciplined enough to execute it and oftentimes the best strategies are not our most favorite strategies and so another observation is should we test bigger profit targets as gold breaks out these profit targets have been great for many years in this strategy and it's traded in about the same range but if gold pulls a cocoa and some of these other markets can we get more can we get bigger returns if we change the profit targets on a few of them for example um, you know we've got 10 of 11 SR counter trends hitting hitting the trade today 10 winners and they all have these small profit targets you know you're capturing five dollars on a fifty dollar move can you get more out of it you know if you just change the profit target on one or two or three of these um, and let a lot of these hit singles while the others hit home runs once this goes into bull market mode and so these are the kind of observations that we make as quant traders as, as systematic traders where we we ponder potential adjustments we back test them and then see how they work in the context of a portfolio before we actually implement those those are some thoughts and ideas on algorithmic trading for gold you see gold flash um, was a winner yesterday was a loser today and disappointing uh, Asia gold um, it has some, had some winners lately um, the last three were losers so this is kind of you know a stop running type we got caught in the stop running Asia gold stopped out stopped out stopped out three times in a row as gold just moved higher so um, you can see the move this week gold closed I count the closing price from the settlement price on the daily bars at around this time 2242 or it's 1330 I think is the closing settlement price that's measured on the daily bars so if you go with the 1330 price on Friday to this price it's a hundred about hundred and eleven dollars and um, SR countertrends did a pretty good job this week capturing it We'll update the portfolio calculator and go over all the other trading system signals. Overall today, the 1 million MNS was down about 1.7% while it was up 2% yesterday. So still looking for a good entry point for the quarter to get in on the 1 million MNS. And I continue to make daily market observations and adjustments as we need. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.